Hello everyone. Welcome to another session in which we are going to learn about Jenny. They are diff as AI has progressed and its role in research is going on and increasing day by day, there are many software which are coming up which are helpful for and the different aspect of research and scientific writing and academic writing is an important skill which is required for many of those people their primary language is not English so it will not only help us for writing in a appro pro appropriate way but helpful from there in a fast track work as well a wonderful tool is Jenny Jenny AI uh, you can search on the, the Google writing Jenny AI it's a specialized software for research writing academically research writing although people use chat GPT BARD and other software as well but there are some software in which one of them is Jenny as well which can supercharge your next research paper because that software is specially designed for writing research articles so output and results are much better as compared to some of the other software so you can create a free account let me log in so the link is jenny.ai j e -N -N -I dot ai and let me log in with my gmail id so you can create your account with your username with any email address or you can log in with the google let me log in with my gmail id So you can see from here I have logged in with my Gmail ID into the Jenny. For the first time it will ask you whether you are a student, a writer or a marketing purpose and you can select any of those things. It's just take your information there as well. Jenny is a freeware that means that it has a free account and a paid account. In the free account you can write 200 words per day per 24 hour. If you need more than that, yeah, that you need to upgrade to a paid account as well. But how it works and what are the wonderful features into it? So let me create a new document. You can see on the left hand side, there is a new document. I clicked, it will open the new document. It will start writing, what are you writing today? So you can start, you can just uh, don't click it there and just uh, close this box as well but let me write and I like to write uh, a research article about the role of AI AI okay so let's suppose that is which is not a very good prompt as well so the more the better prompt you can give it or a larger prompt is again it is more important so let me write down here artificial intelligence a research article wrote up artificial intelligence and its benefits to the researcher okay so just for the purpose of making a good prompt, I'll just add some more things as well. You can outline builder as well, but I'll skip that outline builder. Otherwise, it can all, already give you some of the headings there as well. And I clicked start writing. So AI roles and benefit in research. It, this is a title it's suggested, but you can modify it. How it works. There are some settings which by default are there. You can unplug them. Auto complete is already enabled. If you don't want it, I'll show you how you can uh, because it will automatically start writing. You can see on the window in recent year artificial intelligence has emerged because its auto writing is enabled. Show auto complete buttons are there. This is the document prompt which can change to there as well. Citation can be added automatically if it find out those. Otherwise we can call for the citation or own. You can see from here the one of the citation Appler et al 2023 is here and you know that it is recent citation are also coming up so that is the wonderful thing so it is regularly updated and the database is up to the mark okay so let me come back here and let me write the heading because I like the first section as introduction so I have added introduction and because uh, auto uh, complete is clicked so it is the potential of artificial intelligence have realized research practices and enhanced efficiency and effectiveness of researchers is increasingly being recognized because it selected what I'm going to talk about and start writing it there as well so if I 
think that this is fine I want to add I just need to click the arrow on the right hand side so it has written there as well you can see by the automatically reference has been added it has written the reference is coming down this software can give you writing of the op references in four styles APA 7 MLA 9 Howard and IEEE which is for electronic and engineering aspect as well. By default is APA7. Unfortunately, when core style is not here, for those of you who want to write in terms of uh, when cover it is not there so you can see that it is one sentence by sentence is start writing and you can see you are happy with it I am for example this next line I am not happy let me delete that point okay and I click my cursor here <coughs> and I said no try again so it again writes something different than before like you can see several studies have shown let me increase the font size so it's better so you can see yes it's fine so several studies have shown that AI can play a significant role in various stages of research process including data collection analysis and interpretation although it's written fine but if I'm not satisfied with the sentence I can just click try again so it is right has new things AI has the ability to analyze vast amount of data, identify patterns and trends and make prediction and recommendation. All of which can greatly benefit research. And if I am fine, I just click accept. So start writing continually from there as well. So you can see how it start writing and complete things as well. So one by one and not only this, if you want to write, for example, the whole of the introduction, for example, let me place my cursor here and you can see the AI commands below. There are some AI commands, write introduction, write conclusion, summarize. So generate from phase is there and continue writing is there. I want to write, let's suppose introduction. So I clicked write introduction. So you can see the whole paragraph is written. The two paragraphs are written about introduction about those things. So AI has the capability to streamline data collection analysis process. So it can write what I want, but let me discard. I am not want to write right now these things. So you can see here from the AI command, there are multiple things which are there, which can be added there as well. Not only this, for example, AI has the ability to analyze vast amount of data and identify pattern. I want to add a reference to this sentence. Okay, so for that purpose, I highlight that sentence and there is a site link or uh, button is there which can be added by just clicking add button as well. So once I click site, it will open a window and you can see the references most recent by default is setting which can be from the oldest or relevance so recent is fine so it will be recent updated references it can be from the library which is yours i'll show you about because there is no article uploaded to my library but the journal is fine for academic writing so based on this sentence is suggested some of the article which talk about those things attitude knowledge and skills toward artificial intelligence among systemic review exploring stakeholders requirements radiologist role of artificial intelligence so different articles coming up and you can make it with the more relevance because so that it selected those articles which are very much relevant to you AI in context and sustainable development goals so for example let's suppose you want to see that article and you think that that's linked to be a kind of paper which you are interested in. so you can click to any of the paper so as soon as you clicked any of, uh, and uh, if you want to go to that article it's you can go from here view in a new tab once you click it you can go through that article from another artificial intelligence website on site.ai and see whether you want this article is relevant to you you want to go to the few full text as well so everything is there at one place so I'll come back here so once you are comfortable that that is your article you just need to click citation uh, I have already added there so let me show you so add citation is there and as soon as I clicked there and you can see the two citation has been added so you can uh, select any of the text and then it start giving it the reference and citation there as well so you can see how 
easily it will going to write not only this but one wonderful tool is for example if I send the new emerging trends related to research due to AIR so I say I have just written something I stop there so it automatically completed my sentence and take it where I am writing on so the new the new emerging trends related to research due to AIR, AI power data analysis and interpretation automated literature review and prediction so it's complete my sentence even if I have written half of those things I'm not satisfied let's suppose click try again so again it complete the sentence and now there is something changing the way researchers gather analyze and data okay I think that is fine so I clicked arrow and it selected those things so how different kind of skill set is required for doing research if you are using some of the software which required AI so that is a specialized software for doing things as well so you can now know how to write it down how to complete there are more than that for example a power that can quickly process and okay I'm fine I have selected that thing now I don't want to complete in those way you can see from here AI commands uh, I can write opposing argument write with more depth write conclusion summarize I said write opposing argument so you can see now from the text here that it has written something however if I go there oh sorry uh, I have clicked something so it goes back let me do it again click my cursor at the end I click AI commands and write opposing argument Jenny is writing While AI undoubtedly has benefits in research, it is crucial to acknowledge the limitations and potential risk associated with its use. One primary concern is the lack of transparency, you can see, and it has written in the from the contrary point of view as well. So this AI command is a wonderful tool where to utilize at different things as well. You want to paraphrase something, you want to, for example, let me highlight this sentence, the first one and if I now click this AI commands this option is paraphrase simplify academically make shorter make longer we don't need translate here because we are writing in English summarize so you can highlight the whole paragraph and article to summarize and write with more depth for example this is this one sentence but I can ask it to write in more depth so it's again analyze that thing and give me more points which if I think it's what I can replace the section or I can insert it below or I ask it to try it again so you can see this is a specialized software which has written more ever as the influence of AI and human grows it start writing of so many things as well so I don't need it right now so I deleted it here as well so the options are wide so many options are there not only this it can check it for the similarity for the plagiarism as well minimum hundred words are even so it can checked for similarity as well from the plagiarism which is built in within the tool that's how you can find out their add references if you want to change format of references right now it has written 309 words you can see from here there are one heading there are text can be done in the different format as well I have showed you the commands there as well and if you have your own references Jenny can write from your references as well this is a library where you can upload your sources right now is empty but you can upload your PDF files then Jenny will start using those documents to write your research paper so if you have used any other software you have PDF files of 10 15 or any number of files you ask Jenny to write from those references that is another and also give citation and references to there as well not only this you can export your work in different format has most of the time or as a clipboard to copy paste but you can download it in the Microsoft Word format so you can see AI role and benefit in research is downloaded and I can open the window to show that how one whatever you have done is saved and you can perform in your Microsoft Office document as well 
so everything is wonderfully there so it is a wonderful software specialized software for uh, related to research jenny i strongly recommend this wonderful tool to work and if you are comfortable with it i'll suggest you to take its a subscription as well because you are limited to only 200 words per day you if you want to write research articles work on a larger context so it's better to take with the unlimited word count working on those things writing of research article on such software is more up to the mark the references are appropriate and you can really uh, write a very scientific and professional way working on those things and all the settings you can just go there you don't want auto complete you want to write on your own and you can only write something so it's better that you can disable this auto complete so whenever you want to write you can ask to ai command to give to complete your paragraph Com like continue writing here the prompt has to be given at that point if auto complete is not there but again uh, uh, for most of the work i usually don't want it to be auto complete but if sometimes i need some help from the ai then i'll ask for the complete or writing of something not the other way around so this is a wonderful software looking forward and give me the feedback in the comment section how do you find this software have a nice time. Thank you.